It's Wednesday night, and you know what that means. It's time for some AEW Dynamite. I am the Jam Sun. With me, as always, is my broadcast partner, Brock Redhead. How you doing tonight, Brock? Oh, fantastic. Uh, I got your gift in the mail, the AEW title, because you told me you didn't think you were worthy of the A-Show title, so you gave it <laughs> Listen, These are falsehoods, folks. That belt is and never leaving my side. You gave me a Full note shit. that said, <laughs> gave me a note that said, don't read on the on the recordings which i saw a little too late but you said hey man my birthday brother i want to give this back to you because your ratings are just so killer that's some bullshit right there man (laughs) i mean long story short you were like i did send him a christmas card before christmas that only just got to him like last week but yeah. No belt that, was sent because like, uh, the belt is mine, baby, and it always will be oh. mine. And you're gonna see it on me, Wars. Why? Dang. Anyway, so what do we got here tonight? Well, what we have here was supposed to be a tag team match between the Young Bucks and and 2.0, but somehow has been converted to a one on one of uh, of. Uh, Nick Jackson from the Young Bucks against uh, Cool Hand Angelo Parker. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> that's, that's Griff Garrison, but that's fine. I haven't seen him in a while. Probably won't either. I don't even think I downloaded him on this game. <laughs> Damn. And I think I mentioned this last week, uh, but I'm going to mention it one last time so I know for sure. Brock Lesnar is uh, permanently removed from the roster. Uh, until everything is whatever is going on with his name is uh, whether he's proven guilty or not guilty. If he's not guilty, he'll be back on the roster for the retirement tour. But as of right now, Brock Lesnar is pulled from the roster. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God he wasn't my world champion because Jesus oh. Christ, let me tell you. For shizzle my nizzle. If that was the case, what would your first course of action idea be if uh, Brock Lesnar was my champion? Uh, I would have done like a, a, a championship scramble tournament, like a King of the Ring type of thing to determine the next champ. Okay, okay. They still have King of the Ring in this, don't they? Somewhere? They should. Yeah. 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 Angelo Parker staring at little Nick Jackson on the outside. Or should we say Nicholas Jackson? <laughs> Nicholas. It's Nicholas and Matthew now. The EVPs. Use it. Use oh, it. Misses it. Boom. <laughs> That's why they call him Cool Hand, Angelo Parker. Now, would you do the running elbow, or would you be a running knee kind of guy off of the ropes? Personally, I would be a running knee. Okay. Just because, like, I've fractured my elbow a couple of times. <laughs> so, oh. Once, once was right before my daughter was born. I was uh, on my way to work on a bike, and I took the Damn. bike down the stairs. And uh, I thought it was going well, and then I started to worry, and instead of just riding it out... I hit the brakes, and it happened to be the front wheel brakes, so the bike flipped. And yeah. landed right on my elbow, broke it. It was winter, too, or the, just near the end of winter. The snow was starting to go away, but it was still cold, so I had a scarf. And I yeah. used my scarf as a sling, and I worked a whole shift at the gas station with my arm in a sling, and my boss came in. He was like, what are you doing? Like, my job. Let's go to the fucking hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, I need the money. <laughs> I need the money, man. God damn it. Kid. And I thought I thought it would like sh- show him. It's like, yeah, I'm a man's man. I work my shift with a broken arm, you know. Yeah. And he was like, no, you're a liability, idiot. If you get more hurt here because you're working with a broken arm, I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that. I bust. I I, I had a similar story, but mine was my toe. I had uh, busted my toe open to where it was bleeding in my shoe, Oof. and. I didn't know it was that. Like, I knew I busted my toe open, but I didn't think it was that bad. And we were freshly waxing the hallways. Oh, so you had and bloody footprints everywhere? <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, my boss found me. He's like, the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, I'm working. He goes, the fuck you are? You put us like a week behind because of this. Oh. We. 
So then I went to the hospital and they said, we need you out for eight months. And of God course, damn. me being the guy that didn't want to well, put more work on my coworkers, I went in after two months and I re-busted my toe open. And uh, I and uh, we were we just stripped one of the classroom floors, so it was like bare bare tile. Oh. And I bled through that again on the bare tile, so they had to replace the actual tile because they couldn't get the blood out. And he's like, "If you come back before your eight months, then you're fucking fired." So I had to stay out for eight fucking months. God damn. Yeah. All right, you I'm win. like, I'm gonna show my boss. <laughs> I can burn. Blah blah blah. Yeah, your story wins. I, th- I thought, <laughs> I thought, <laughs> I thought I was bad off, but nope. <laughs> Damn. Nice. And it was when uh, I'll never forget because it was when Assassin's Creed Syndicate had come out. Because I started playing that. <laughs> it's like maybe it's time for a career change. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn! So I, I only played is. the first mission of Syndicate, man. I really? wanted to get back into that. Yeah, it looks really fucking good, but uh, of course I was the sister. Of course, because you know Brock female lead doctor. Yeah, yeah. The um, only Assassin's Creed that I've played more than the first couple of hours. Ooh, Nick Jackson taking it away. Nice. Is uh, Origin? I got probably about twenty or thirty hours into Origin. Yeah. So what was your favorite? So far, Origin, uh, just because of the, like the open world. You know, I re- yeah. I like open world games a lot. But I, I do think that uh, Syndicate would probably be my next favorite, just because I love the idea of Victorian London. You know. Yes. Yep. Are you going to pick up uh, the newest Assassin's Creed? The Mirage one? Maybe when it goes on yeah. a sale, I'll probably buy it just to have it as part of my collection. I'm looking more forward to the, the next open world type one, which I think is supposed to be in Japan or China. I'm not Ooh. sure. Yeah. I think it's called Red Sun. So I think that sounds more like Japan. I mean, imagine that. A fucking samurai or a ninja assassin. Yep. And I th- actually, I think if you, I think there are, again, there's two characters you can play a male and a female, and the female is the ninja. Huh. Oh. But I do, so I, do what I do appreciate them doing that, like being able to switch what gender you want your character to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- I, I, from what I've heard in Odyssey and Valhalla. Those two, you can pretty much choose. Do you want to be the male or the female? Actually, I think even yeah. in Valhalla, you can kind of flip flop if you want to. Yeah, yeah. So yeah but the, the biggest problem with those ones, I really want to play those. But until I finish Origins, I'm like, I need to, I need to finish the story before I move on to the next one. Yeah. You have to finish the story. Yeah, man. I got a Cody Rhodes that shit. <laughs> oh, so I see we got a uh, God's ba- Bailiff in the ring right now. Yep, Nero taking on Brian Danielson, Lee Moriarty, and our current uh, all uh, international champion Daniel Garcia. Ooh. We have to change his outfit up a little bit though, because he's not, not currently not wearing trunks. He's wearing like. Tights, I think, or pants of some sort. And he does his little dance. I wish they had that animation in the game. He just go oosh, 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 oosh. Oh, Miro taking nice. that kendo to Brian's guts. Come on now. Garcia. Yep. Hurting. Moriarty putting the hurt on to Danielson. Nice. Nice to hold. Beautiful. Take it. You shouldn't sleep on Lee Moriarty. He's had quite a few victories in, in most of the matches he's been involved in. He just 
never seem to get that title shot. So if if he wins right. this tonight, he's going to be number one contender for uh, for Garcia's international championship. Ooh. But again, we won't see that change happen until after Omni Wars. We are not putting yes. any titles on the line until uh, the end of a, an era. Yep. When, yeah, yeah. when I take all of the, the gold and Josh leaves with none. Well, what do I do? Well, I'll give you one. Okay. You can have the tags. <laughs> what about the world? No, no, no. World's got to be Jericho. Oh, damn. It's got to go out the way it began, man. Jericho and Sheeta, one hundred percent, have to have to take those titles, and that way, they will have ruled across three years. Damn. See, people won't even let me shine. You can shine with the tag titles, man. <laughs> and I'll let you have the women's mid card too. Oh, okay, that works. Boom! Into the corner. Kick to the face. Kick to the face. Yep. Well, Moriarty's getting Garcia up on the top. Superplex. Oh, no, not even. Yeah. Ooh, damn, how can arrow. Boom! Brian says, eat yep. sledge. Moriarty going for a weapon. Another kendo. Hello, Miro. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Moriarty. No, you got to break up the cup. Okay. Oh, Brian Danielson taking him down a peg. Now going after yep. Miro. Boom. Drop it. Going for that cover. Oh, Sledgehammer's falling. Super knee. Taking out Garcia. Moriarty makes the save. Nice. Whoop! Moriarty gonna take Danielson out of the picture. Yep. Oh, well, he gets distracted by Miro. Gonna work that arm. Danielson not doing anything to break it up. Oh! Backbreaker on Danielson. There you go. Garcia knee to the face. To the face. To the face. Oh, drop toe hold. Moriarty going for that submission. Danielson breaking it up. There you go. Kicking him Garcia, off. Taking him down. The huge shoulder block to the knee. NXT world. <laughs> Miro's, like, <laughs> Miro's like a train, man, just knocking you down. Or a Mack truck. Yeah. Up in the snowplow. Boom to the guts of Danielson. Oh. The devastation. Right no to the breathing. nuts. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. That's right. He's he is Eula. He is no one's bitch. He is no one's bitch. But you are his. Oh, another drop toehold going for that submission. Nero, so, why are you not trying to break it up? So we were 
Bam! Yep, Lee Moriarty is your new number one contender for that uh, international championship. I mean, does he pose a threat? Hell yeah, he does. Did you see the results here, my friend? I mean, I mean, that was a fatal four-way. Like, that was, like, three other dudes in the ring. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, does he pose a threat? Of course he does. He's, he's been in singles matches and taking the, taking the win. He's an up-and-comer. He's one of the people that Brian said, if I could create a faction with, I'd want Daniel Garcia and Lee Moriarty. And, you, yeah. and Wheeler Yuta. That's who he wanted. But he ended up with uh, Claudio and uh, John Moxley and Wheeler Yuta. Okay. So he sees these two as up-and-comers that uh, can can take his spot. Oops, I left this in. Sorry. <laughs> MJF looks really good. Yeah. And the Samoa Joe, too, is not bad. Yeah. But, I mean, as soon as I saw this MJF, I was like, yep, this is the one that's riding up my season. Yep. Oh, disrespect. Hey. Oh, god damn. So before I was cut off by your guy winning, whatever, uh, what I was going to say was uh, we were cleaning out the office, and you'll never guess what I found. Something I left behind. <laughs> no, my uh, little green book where I held, where I wrote down uh, week one, uh, season one's uh, matches. Ah, the, the pre-computer days. Yes, the pre-computer days. Ah, damn. And it was uh, when you were w WCW and when you transitioned to AEW. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I, went, like, I went back last week and I was scanning some of the old matches trying to find where the first five-star match was. And uh, yep. I realized for the first two years we didn't have any stars. For in 2K20... It's so fucking broken. Or maybe we flipped off the option <laughs> that there were no stars on any matches. Damn, it's crazy. Indubitably. Now I have to uh, have uh, Miracle May find it. Like, yeah, what is this? And he's like, oh, back in my day, kid, before we had computers. We had this thing called pencil crayons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, MJF. He, 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 he's go. trying. He might be in trouble. Oh, yeah. Blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Oh, some of Joe showboating, but oh, able to recover. Yep. Bye bye. Well, here we go. Boom. A modified <laughs> three amigos. Yeah. Cover. Nice catch. Boom! A snap suplex. Going to the top rope. MJF drops the knee on the face. Joe rolling out to recover. MGF capitalizing on the outside with a boom! Another snap suplex. Get in there, he says. Toss him so back into you, the ring. Are you excited for Ring of Honor's uh, first big show when they come oh. back where we're doing that uh, battle royale with all world champions? Of course I'm excited. I mean, are you nervous since we're going to... Because we're basing it... So for the people that are just finding out about this, uh, someone had posted a picture in a wrestling group of all the world champions in the wrestling world right now. And I had uh, put the picture. I put it in uh, uh, our uh, group chat with me, Jamson, Humanoid. I'm like, do you want uh, this to be like your first 
big show at the end of the month when you take over. And Jam saw and him were like, yeah, let's fucking do it. So, it's going to be a battle royale of, I believe, eight world champions, real life champions, and who our world champion is at the time. So, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, exciting. I'm nervous, not going to lie to you. Indubitably, my man. Who knows, by then, MGF might have his title back. There we go, it'll be, yep. I know that, uh, that last week we saw Will Ospreay finally make his AEW debut. Yes, yes, he did. And he fought... Samoa Joe, he defeated him. Did he go, did, did, yes, he did, he did. Yep. I was a little drunk, but I wasn't that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Bye bye. Nice spike suit, uh, spike DDT or spike uh, pedigree. Yeah. Fight forever, indeed. Naming the AEW wrestling game that I own and I've played only about five minutes of. Yeah. I mean, I've wanted to play more. It's just like all my games, I end up sticking to like the couple that I actually play often, like this Modern Warfare, a role-playing game, Cyberpunk. I I wanted to get into Cyberpunk. It's much better now. It's worth revisiting. Especially with the new DLC and all the modifications they made to to the game. Yeah. Very much, very much uh, agree with that. I started a whole new fucking game just because there were so many changes in it. <clears throat> yeah, I would have to, too. I would have to. Because I did the demo of it. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it, it was fun for me. I mean, once you get some of those crazy mods and stuff where you can, like, slow down time and run around and chop people up with a sword and hack into people, it's it gets pretty crazy. Man. Yeah. And the vehicles and stuff. What I like to do is, uh, there's a lot of places in town where you can jump up to. So I, I got power legs that give me, like, a double jump. And I can get to some pretty crazy high places and snipe people. <laughs> Well, goddamn. You, you know it, man. Whenever I played Tom Clancy games, I always have like a an assault rifle, a sniper rifle, and a pistol. That's pretty much how yeah. I roll. <laughs> yeah. I snipe who I can along the outside and then run in with a silenced uh, assault rifle or pistol. Up to a seven. No, MJF is still playing the uh, baby face. <clears throat> nice, work away. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Power yeah. bomb! I will say this to the day I die. I would never take an outside bump like that. Nope, me neither. That's why we sit behind a desk and we just talk. Exactly. <laughs> like, The Rock came in and said, Know your role, and I'm like, I do. Behind the desk, that's my role. I do, sir. I mean, Daddy. I mean, Papa. <laughs> I mean, whatever your name is. Papa Rocky. Papa Rocky. Oh, so speaking of Rocky, what do you think of uh, the crowd hating Rocky right now? I think they're playing right into the palm of his hand. That's exactly what he wanted out of this situation. He's coming back as a heel. You know, that's uh, 
he's trying to get Koei that babyface fucking spark. Okay. And by so doing think- all that stuff and getting booed by the people, he's using that to help push Cody Rhodes. But if he does win the world title, I think it would be best that we get the 96 Rock, where he hated the crowd, he hated the people. That's what we need, as I heal Rocky like that. See, but the whole thing is, he can be a heel Rocky and still be the people's champ, because he thinks he's the people's champ. It doesn't matter what the, the people think. Right. He knows that he's your champ, whether you want him to be or not. Ooh. And oh, that shit. way he can stay on that fine line, so people that love him can love him, and people that hate him can hate him. Yep. We oh, Fujiwara armbar. Yo. Damn! Yo! It's two losses for Joe this month. No. Well, I mean, I guess it's a good thing he's lending the title to Jericho for Omni Wars. Mm, seriously. Because if it was Joe, then we'd be screwed. Because oh, Joe would be the one to say, no, I'm going to end this shit. No, because no. Joe can't seem to win for the life of him, except for no. getting that title. And I think maybe the only reason he did was because he won it in a triple threat. MJ. He can't seem I to hold so. himself in a single match or a singles match at the moment, anyway. MJF standing tall, proving why he's still the number one contender for that belt. Yep. Damn it, I forgot to remove this one, too. Look away, everybody. Okay, now you can look back. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't edit, folks. Well, I mean, <laughs> I do I do limited live edit with a pause button on my <laughs> recorder. And yep. if, if I miss the mark, meh, you get to see some extra behind-the-scenes bullshit. Sheeta trying to work on Jamie Hader. Hader, I don't even know her. Hell. No. Oh, I love me some bourbon. Oh. Kentucky. You got two great things. Fried chicken and bourbon. What do I got? Uh, a wonderful wife who supports all of your silly endeavors, just like me. Okay. I'll take it. Me too, man. I'd rather have a, a wife who supports my endeavors than millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Hey, don't get me wrong, I'd love millions of dollars too, but if I had to pick one or the other, I would pick my wife. Oh, yeah. Nice try with that Boston Crab. Come on now. Whoa. Oh, Cheetah gets caught. Yep. You could say Jimmy Hader didn't give a Sheeta. Hey oh, oh. <laughs> Hey oh, that's why you come, folks. That's right. Commentary. Uh-oh, don't. Oh, here don't, we go. Don't. High risk, oh. high reward. Nope, never mind. Oh. Thank God. Sheeta's like, I'm not gonna risk my my chance at the Omni Wars on on you. Yep, yep, we're so close. Two weeks away, brother. Whoa. Halfway there. Whoa. Brock's living on a prayer because he won't win too much of a share. Whoa. We'll see you all there. Hopefully. Hopefully you all show up and watch and enjoy. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Yep. We do this for you, folks. Well, no. We do this for us, but we also hope that you enjoy it. Yes. 
I know, I enjoy. That's why we're still doing it. If I didn't have fun doing it, we wouldn't be doing it. Exactly. Yep. If it became like a second job that didn't pay, then I'd be like, ugh. But it's yeah. fun. Gotta, you know, I, I like gotta building come back. these matches. I like talking about it. I like seeing these comebacks. I like seeing Sheeta going, come on! Let's see. Shinsuke Nakamura and Asuka come over to AEW. Ooh. And Okada with his rainmaker. Yep. Boom! Boom! One, two, only a two count, no tootsie roll, tootsie pop for Cheetah. Yep. This is wrestling indeed. <laughs> Before you say it, Brock, no, this is not Monday or Sunday or Friday or whatever fucking day your show is on. <laughs> uh, I think they said this is the weekday, and by that weekday, they might It could mean weekday. anything, by folks. It's open to interpretation. Oh, Meteora. From the top rope, those knees to faces. Damn, look at that booty. Damn. Jamie Hater's got Damn. cake. Yup. She does no slouch either, man. She's uh, got quite the getup. Mm -hmm. And she'll kick your ass. Both these ladies would kick your ass. Yup. Come on, Sheeta. You can do it. Come on, Sheeta. You can beat her. A good man. A good man. Yeah, we got a goo. Hammering blows down on your face. Yeah. On the outside, Brock, Brock's favorite place to be. Oh, damn it. I got and die. Three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, kick to the face. It do One, the two. Damn. Oh. Here we go. Say goodnight, Gracie. Oh, you missed it. You biffed it. Oh. Sheeta punishing her in the corner. Yup. That's you in the corner. Sheeta kicking the day lights out of your religion. Trying to pin or submit, and I don't think she can do it. Oh no, I've said too much. I haven't said enough. Boom! Sheeta wins with a little help from Arya. But Sheeta ain't done. Ooh, kick to the guts. I mean, the Army Wars. Her stage is right around the corner. That's right. She's like, you're going to try to take me out, bitch. 
I mean, I I'm the nervous. queen supreme of AE dubs. Instant classic, Damn. folks. That's what you get here on Wednesday nights. And our main event is a former world champ, two former world champs, technically, because I think uh, Tony Storm lost her belt, didn't she? Tony Storm? Yeah. At the pay-per-view? Didn't she lose to somebody? Uh, yeah, she lost it to Sheeta. Timeless Tony Storm in match six lost it to Sheeta. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> that's why Sheeta's going to the fucking... <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, sorry, folks. The, the bourbon's starting to hit hard. Yeah, I forgot to turn... Match. Yeah, I forgot to turn off interests this time, too. So, it was, it was a bit of a shit show trying to record this one. But, I mean, this is the first time I've actually seen her entrance, too, so... Right. See, I'd considered leaving entrances on, but, I mean... It could take a little bit of extra time... And uh, the tag ones, I would have to go in and make sure all the tags have a specific tag entrance set up. And they're all different because you don't want to see the same entrance over and over again. Yep. And I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. I wish when you downloaded two uh, tag team guys from the same creator... If they had created a tag team entrance, that it would pull that down too. Right. They're yeah, like, maybe it gives you the option, like, oh, we've noticed that you also downloaded this person's this person. They're formed in a tag team. Do you want these details? Exactly. You'd be like, yeah. Yeah, like something like that. If you're listening so to K, we... <laughs> this is yeah. our idea, but you can have it. Make the game better. Uh, so what do we got here with a uh, former world champion, Timeless Tony Cape? I mean, to Tony Storm, my bad. Yeah, Tony Storm going up against Britt Baker, who we haven't seen in a little bit. Just wanted to see how these two would fare in a ladder match. You mean Britt Caker? Uh, well, she can take it any way she wants. hey <laughs> hey -oh. Right. One ladder in, two ladders in. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Going for a third, and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing, bitch? Two ladders is plenty." Oh, headbutt to the chest. Tony Storm is one nasty, nasty individual. Yes, sir. Ooh. Next year, I'm going to try to keep a log of the creators of the the uh, the cause that I download that yeah. way I can I can give them props in the show okay I only think it's fair these guys put in a lot of time to make these people look as good as they can so if I can promote them and let other people go and download it, like I already do the thumbs up and stuff to make sure they show up in the uh in that category of the most uh, approved or whatever. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but there's there's the most download and there's the most, like, thumbs up. So I try to right. always go by the most thumbs up, and if I see one that I think deserves to be in, the, in that category, I thumbs up it so that other people can find the ones that I'm using. But to put it a step for, uh, f further, I'm not going to put annotations and shit, but I will call them out by name so you can go looking for them. Right. Okay, 
Take care. Where are you taking her? Whoop. Boom. Dragon screw. Taking Baker down. Yep. Oh, nice. Damn. Here we go, lifting her up. Get it. Bam, right in the face. Brett gonna reach for it. Gotta get up. There you go. Tony jumping and smacking that ass. And she's like, now it's my turn. Nope. Boom! Knock her to the outside. Now go for it. Smart move, Tony. She better be reaching. One. Two! Tony Storm takes it. Damn. See, that's why I was like, if it was just two people, maybe a couple more rungs would make a little bit more drama out of it. But when there's like four or six people, then you want less runs. You know? Here is your winner. Yeah. Because they just beat the shit out of each other constantly. But this is, you know, a little bit cheap and easy. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Tony Storm taking the victory. I am the jam saw with me, as always, Brock Redhead. Seeing as always, phenomenal peace. Peace. <laughs>